Hey, this is Tuan Aditya from Light Haven. Today I'm going to be showing you three Kali counters to the jab. Before we begin, I really want to explain why I'm making this video. But don't worry, I'm going to keep the why short. I have been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to train in a bunch of different martial arts. And when I started, uh, when I started Kali, when I started Pikiti, then there was, there was a lot of um, issues that I was facing in making the weapon stuff that I had learned in the Philippines work alongside all of the empty hand stuff that I had done before. There were some things like range and timing, um, a lot of the empty hand striking and grappling, just I wasn't being able to, to, they weren't existing in my mind in the same space. It was like I was learning things that were completely opposite to each other. And because of that, for the first three years of my PKT training, I stopped training everything else. I didn't do any other empty hand martial arts, I didn't do anything else. I just focused on the weapon stuff. However, when I restarted Muay Thai and when I started learning Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the things that really helped me to um, not face those same issues of the two arts clashing with, 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 with each other was looking for the commonalities, the, the things that, that all these different arts do the same ways. And these commonalities really helped me to find bridges in between how weapon arts might perceive range differently, how weapon arts might perceive timing differently, footwork might be a little bit different. If the only thing that you get from this video is that you can always find commonalities between different arts and that should be where you begin when you train different arts, then that will be enough. I'm going to be sharing with you guys three counters to the jab. Like I said before, all of these counters are based on the principles of Kali. Now, they're based on timing principles of attacking at the same time. Um, they're based on diagonal lines where I'm using my diagonal lines to, uh, for these counters. Um, they're also based on what I speak on very often on this channel, which is about use coordinating double weapons as following attacks. So one weapon is following the other weapon. The last counter will also be derived from the knife, specifically the using the hook in the pakal grip. I want to reiterate that even though um, I'm going to be using our basic diagonal uh, angles in this video, you can substitute that with anything. You can substitute that with hooks, with uppercuts. As long as you understand the basic principle of how it is that we're making these entries, you can, do, you can substitute any strike for any other strike that might fit in that context. The first one we're going to start with, Nair's going to give me a jab. And I'm going to break a... It's not necessarily breaking a rule, but in the beginning we do always say that if she's jabbing, I want to be parrying with the same side. I don't want to go across because it leaves me open for that crossing hand. But in this, in, in this context, I'm going, to, I'm going to break that rule. Now, um, again, depending on specifically what's happening in the spy, in the fight, maybe you want to be a little bit further away, maybe you want to step away, maybe you want to slip with this, it really depends. But I'm going to go, I'm going to parry with the opposite side hand, not this hand, opposite side hand. The reason I'm going to do this is because this allows me to then step in with my own attack. I'm, my, my hand is closer to her then this hand is. So I can do one, two, or one, two. So I'm going angle one, angle two, angle one, or angle one, straight, straight, or anything, any other sort of um, strike that fits in over there. But it's that same side parry, it's that, sorry, that's the opposite, opposite side parry, parry, bang, bang, or parry, bang, bang or parry, bang, bang, whatever works in that context. The second way, I'm going to go back to that same side parry. So she jabs, I parry on the same side. Now, as I parry on the same side, I'm going to be striking at the same time as I parry and at the same time as her jab. So that's my strike. You can call it, think of it as a single time hit or a, or, or a same time attack. You can do a jab to a jab. You can do an open palm strike to a, to a jab. It's really up to you. That's my number one. Now she's going to pull this hand back because most likely she's not going to leave that hand out there. If she leaves that hand out there, it makes my life easier. But I'm going to assume that she's going to pull that hand back. So I jab and I strike at the same time. And now I'm going to use my angle two to get to clear this guard as I follow it up with, with a strike from on top. Now, again, footwork is a really important key to this. I would like to go bang, to step to the outside as I strike and I parry. That sets me up for everything that follows. So I go bang, come, and hit. Or one, two, three. Or one, two, three, or three, 
or if you want to be more Kali specific, I attack that. I attack that elbow and I instead of the instead of the instead of the head. If she doesn't pull the hand back, the third counter is going to be an evolution of the second counter, where I'm still parrying from the same side and still attacking at the same time. Except instead of deflecting the punch away from my head here, I'm going to be thinking of uh, imagining as if I have a knife in Pakal and I'm going to be scooping. So as the punch comes, I'm scooping, striking, and that's my that's my attack at the same time. Now one thing I want to really make sure of is that I don't go this and I don't let my hand come under her hand because she's going to have the counter and not me. So I'm here, bang. That's how my that's that's my entry. Even if she pulls back, I'm still I still have that same same scooping motion and at the same time same time as my attack. So same time as my attack and that's my entry and then you can follow that up with whatever it is that you want to follow that up with. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Nia, for assisting me. Thank you, uh, Lokesh, for helping with, uh, with the video. If you liked what you saw, if you learned from what you saw, please do like and share this video. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you have anything to add, leave that in the comments down below. If you have any questions, please also leave that in the comments down below. All of these things really do help out the school and the channel a lot. A special thank you to all of our patrons. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to know more about our Patreon page and all of the exclusive content that we have on our Patreon page, check out the link I'm going to leave in the description down below. Lastly, our online classes are up and running. Our residential program is up and running. So to train with us either from wherever you are in the world or to come here in Goa, check out the email address I'm going to leave in the link down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.